Hey, good morning. So, uh, Dakota was over here a few weeks ago, overlining with some buddies, and they camped in this exact spot. And uh, we came here because it's got its own toilet. It's, it, it, can, you, can you believe it? It's own toilet right there. The shit box. And it comes with its own privacy tent. So uh, you never know what you're gonna find out here. All right, we're packing up for day number three's riding. We're right outside China Hat. We're gonna make it through Sisters today. Who knows where we're gonna make it? We're just having the time of our lives. Let's get this bike packed and let's get it back out on the road. Thank you for the ship box. All right, here we go. Day number three. Gonna find a way into Sun River. Leaving our great camp spot. I think the gang's all ready. We got Dakota, Pat, Mike. Here we go. Shake your money maker, Pat. Shake it. Don't break it. All right, here we go. Day number three. So we're all commenting last night on how slippery this red rock is. I walked on it last night. It's not like it's deep sand, but yeah. It's pretty squirrely. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Driving down red roads with my friends. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Boo do 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 If I ride right about his seven, eight o'clock, I could stay out of most of the dust. All right, everybody, if you're on the route, you're gonna be in China Hat, you're gonna be on the Red Rock Road. When you drop down off the Red Rock Road, stop at this little intersection right here. And I put something right behind that stump with a tin can on it. It was meant for Travis from Explore Venture Moto. He's unfortunately not gonna be able to make it. So there's a, something pretty nice back there that might make the last part of your trip kind of more enjoyable. So come check out right behind that stump. And don't worry, I'll come pick up anything left over by next time I'm out here in my truck. I'll plan to be here in a few weeks, so I'll come clean up anything. I don't want to hear any littering stuff. All right, everybody, just having fun. Go find it.
Looks like somebody got a little twisted up in the berm. Wrap it up onto the upper. Yeah. Hey, everything okay? Yeah, I'm good. Nothing broken? I don't think so. I rode it the whole way up, dude. I was laying over with my feet still on the pegs. Nice. All right, no one's hurt. We like it. Well, these I like these tanks, Charles, because they stick out so far. If you flop this bike over, it's going to keep a lot of pressure off your leg. Yep. Bag too, it kind of gives you a little. Yeah, like I just. Bag. I was sitting on it and I just stood up. Well, how you saw me? Were you right behind him? Yeah, I came up on him hot, and he was like just. I'm just sitting there, like, ah. Oh. Do you have your camera on? No, I didn't. You know, one minute I was on the road looking at the scenery and the next minute I was in the scenery looking at the road. <laughs> yeah. Well, glad Dakota's okay. We got it picked up. Well, I guess I didn't really help, did I? But uh, they got it picked up. Nothing was broken. We're back on the trail. He was in the low track. He tried to switch up to the high track. Got crossed up. Maybe had a little too much throttle and pushed him right up the bank. It happens. So admittedly, I ride slow um, for, for a couple reasons. I want to finish the route. Uh, I'm in no hurry to get this route over with or any of the other ones I've done because I'm having the time of my life. So I want to finish the route and things get expensive real fast when it breaks. Danny had to rent a U-Haul and a trailer. All he did was drop his bike and broke the uh, brake lever. No fault to his. His bike just dropped and I'm sure he's several hundred dollars in the U-Haul rental. So, I mean, there's that, the cost of it, but I also want to finish the route. I want to do it. So, I ride pretty cautiously. Saves my energy and if I go down, and I will, and I have. Actually, I did on this route once. And um, hopefully nothing will get broken on me or the bike. So I had a, a fall over on day one. I was kind of in some tighter stuff through the sagebrush, and I was riding standing up and steering with my legs and pushing on the foot, foot pegs. And man, I was just thinking, hey, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And then an off-camber right-hand turn. I came into it a little too fast. Hang on, I can't see here, Mike. And uh, I drove straight into the sagebrush. And it was a big one right on my right side. I just kind of fell over into it. It held me up. I crawled out underneath the bike. The bike was still probably at a 45 on the sagebrush. Picked it up and if I didn't tell anybody, they would have never known it would happen. Having uh, lunch at where the heck's the name of this place? Joseph, Joseph K's. Joseph K's in Sand River. I'm gonna say it every time. The riding has been fantastic. That was a little sandy coming into. Uh... Charles didn't like the sand. Yeah. Well, you know what? You know, those tires are working great. I I don't like the sand, but I'm not struggling like I have in the past. So. Tony didn't like that. One. No, it's just a little dirt nap, it's fine. Oh yeah, I'm sure you'll see that. Dakota's, he parked his bike up in the bank. He wanted it up there. Dakota Wop. All right, we're gonna eat some food. Later. All right, nice little lunch at uh, Joe K's or something like that, Deli, Sun River. Stocked up on water, snacks, ice. We're ready for another night. I think this will be our fourth night on the trail. It's gonna feel good to be in the trees, up in the Cascades. You know, I don't know why I said that. It felt good to be in the desert. It feels good to be on the motorcycle. That's what feels good.
Well, Mike made it look easy. All right. I'll give you the lowdown on what's happening here at the old Big Lake campground. So, our site can only handle a couple tents real precariously placed down there. So, we're going to set one up right here, right in the driveway. We've got all four bikes in there. This site hasn't, doesn't have anybody in it. We might end up picking that tent up and walking it over there tonight. Uh, we'll see. Um, all right, we're gonna get camp set up. Already got a cocktail made with our frozen ice truck, man. Frozen ice? A way to carry ice truck, awesome. So let's get this started and then uh, maybe a little mountain house and some summer sausage. Here it goes. Uh -huh. Well, it's a little chilly on the Willie. <laughs> 